an artist, I'm a wood butcher. But when I write my name on a piece, I always put non-native in, in parenthesis. All my life I have uh, worked with wood in one way or another. A friend called me and said that the uh, Seattle Art Museum is offering a class in how to carve masks. North Coast native style masks. I took that course and I've been carving uh, masks ever since. Every culture uses masks for one reason or another. Uh, we're big on masks at Halloween. Uh, we're big on masks for other other things. I've seen on totem poles, I've seen native uh, artists carve animals. Uh, the, the carving of animals, the, the use of animals uh, ceremonially is, is, was very prevalent. And uh, even now, they love to represent animals in, in carvings, whether it's rattles or masks or totems or whatever. Masks probably were used ceremonially, but totem poles were not. The uh, ceremony with a totem pole was the erection of the pole, was the carving of it and then the erection. And once the totem pole was up, um, it's my understanding that, uh, um, that that was it, that it was there, and that it was never ever uh, repainted never uh, freshened up, have now become objects of art, not, not ceremonial, and collector's items. I think we all come wired up needing to be uh, creative. I, I think we're all creative about something, perhaps, wanting to be creative even. I, I get an idea of what I want to, uh, to do. And I start, um, I start it, but it never ends up exactly as I wanted. It is, I, I can't copy because once I start carving a mask, the wood takes on its, what it, what it wants to do. My tools seem to want to do what, what they want to do. I try to base uh, uh, all of the elements on the mask after human features. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The hardest part about doing this is making it symmetric, is making one side the same as the other side. That is, that is really difficult when you're whacking away So this is uh, some of the bark that uh, came off. Cut away to a head-shaped block, uh, a block that's about 10 inches high, um, 8 inches wide, and about 6 inches deep. Then I start working with the features, the eye sockets, the nose, and where the mouth will go. And this is about two weeks, three weeks into, in, into the carving, and it's still very crude. And then I'll have to turn it around and uh, cut away the outside. Yeah, I use cedar because it's, easily to, it's easy to carve and because it's culturally um, uh, what, what native artists used and still use for, for their uh, totem poles, their masks, their, their art. We don't carve like this. We use them like this because it gives you more, uh, more strength, more control. I'll start working more with this part, with this, and down here around the mouth. Straight knives are used always, you know, for various aspects of, of uh, finished work. 
Yeah. I have used Japanese saws now for 20, 30 years for all my carpentry work, for everything I do. I don't even own a different saw because it cuts on the pull, not on the push. It has a very fine blade, so it makes a precise cut, and you can control it so much easier. It's just more satisfactory. Yeah. But I have perhaps uh, 20 stitches around this hand uh, from accidents. I have Kevlar gloves to wear, which, um, which protect me from uh, a slicing wound, not necessarily a stabbing wound, but uh, often I don't wear them, <laughs> I forget to. Uh, I get careless. I get carried away, pick up my tools and the wood. And uh, my last visit to the ER in Seattle, the ER doc suggested that I better take up painting. <laughs> he said, he said, maybe this is not for you. So I try to be uh, careful. It usually takes a matter of months, not, not days. And uh, it, I don't work on it every day. And there are days where I don't touch it at all. Or maybe a week or two will go by. I'm busy with something else. Um, you're, you're, you're taking something that used to be beautiful, a tree. A beautiful tree was alive. Then it's dead. And then you're using part of that to create something that is alive again, uh, art. <laughs> So, yeah, I start out knowing what I want to do, but quite often it takes on its own, um, its own life. It goes where it wants to go, it seems. Most of my masks I, I paint uh, in, in a traditional native style. Um, but this mask uh, is unpainted because the grain in the wood um, was very symmetrical, and it uh, it followed the features very very nicely. So it it was attractive, satisfactory to me, being unpainted. Clingit battle helmet uh, was the most challenging because it's a representation of a raven and uh, finding wood that size, that, that big a uh, piece of wood uh, to, to use, a bit of a challenge, and uh, just, just by nature, the uh, features on it and the hollowing out was uh, a bit of a challenge. When the tribes uh, came to Olympia, uh, summer before last, in, in, in their huge canoe journey where every tribe on the, on the north coast canoed to this huge celebration and gathering in, uh, in Olympia. And I got inspired then to finish the canoe for Jane. <laughs> Spoons, uh, utensils, um, boxes, as well as um, artistic objects like uh, masks, rattles, and uh, I've, I've kind of done both. I, I, like, I like the functionality of uh, bowls, but I also like making it in, in, in the art, in the, in the North Coast native style art. Uh, starting to make a, uh, a bowl and uh, the wood was not uh, cooperating, it wasn't working well. And uh, I got to this stage and I just put it away. I may finish it, but I may not, because I encountered some rotten uh, sections inside the wood. I, I don't know what to do with that, but anyway, I'll do something with it. It's just, you know, I, 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 get, I get into a period of making bowls, then I switch to rattles, and then I go to masks. And then I, uh, I switch to flat art, where I like to carve the uh, two-dimensional art in the traditional 
art form. Every, it seems that every piece I do, every, everything, in one of the early stages, usually just well into it, I hate it. It is just, it, it, it's terrible. And it is not going to make anything satisfactory. And I want to just throw it away. And most of the time, um, all the time, I just keep going, keep working with it, keep doing what I can do. And uh, quite often, it ends up as one of my better pieces. But it's just a phase I have to work through. Uh, I'm, I'm such a beginner with uh, doing this that um, everything I do, I'm learning. Um, learning what to do and what, more importantly, what not to do. And uh, so it's a, it's a hobby. <laughs> it makes me feel good to do it.